Ford shoes. How could I forget? Gosh, how rude. Who doesn't like Harrison Ford? I can't believe I don't have a button up. Why is this so difficult? What is on my floor that is so sticky? Like I literally just mopped it today. New York City, center of the universe. That is where I'm headed. New York City for four days. Two of those days include travel, so I am literally there for a minute. But I thought it would still be a good opportunity to share with you the travel capsule that I'm bringing, why I chose certain pieces, how I'm mixing and matching them. Travel capsules are such a great opportunity to understand how to create a little limited capsule that goes together, how you can mix and match and get really creative with what you've already got because it kind of forces us into this situation where we have to be creative. I think creativity flourishes when we are given limitations. So I'm going to share with you what I'm bringing, how I'm styling it. Let's jump on in. This is actually a very similar travel capsule to the one that I brought to Toronto. I just posted about that one. I will link it up here for you. During the try on process, I might swap some things out. I might eliminate if I can, but this whole process of like the trying on is I find really where you can become more confident with your travel capsule because you've tried on the pieces, you've done the combinations already, really eliminates any stress for when you travel. Here we go. Starting off with the bottoms, I've got three. My very flowy, super lightweight, wide leg black trousers. Denim, because if I have to sacrifice wearing a button down, there is no way I'm traveling without denim. These are the high-waisted little wide leg crop. I'm also bringing this brave leather belt and these shorts. I just, I love traveling with shorts if it gets really hot. This is gonna be a really good option. I love how they're still really tailored, classic. They look fantastic for evening. Two really great options for warm weather, both white super lightweight v-neck a really good layering piece same with this little tank top they are so just light and easy and also elegant because of the really simple cuts like the beautiful deep v this striped top kind of off the shoulder really cute good for day and night for the plane i often run cold if i'm out at the theater at night or something and there's ac i'm gonna want something that's like a little bit covered up my ishto cotton sweater from portugal this is gonna be like a day before traveling situation call. If I need a jacket, it's going to be this one here, second hand. The purses, it's a toss up between these two. During my try on, I'm going to see which one gets used the most. I will also be bringing my convertible backpack. This guy right here, this is where I put like all my tech and stuff when I travel on the plane. I will also be bringing some workout gear. So one pair of leggings, a couple of sports underwear, socks, ball cap, sports bra, probably a t-shirt or a tank top. And all of it will fit in here. This little travel carry on thing. Okay. Oh my God. Shoes. Sneakers. I'm going to wear these on the plane. Ballet flats, little blue pointed. I may also bring my little slingbacks. However, they're at the cobbler. If I'm going to do try-ons with the slingbacks, I'll just grab a pair of pumps in lieu of those. So just keep that in mind. I am so exciting, but I love all black. <laughs> I feel really comfortable. There's a little bit of like a texture play because of the knit and then the like nice mat on the trouser, little white sneaker. Actually, here we go. Thought I would show you with the little jacket. I think this is really good. Good little injection of color. There we go. This is good. I feel comfortable. I like how there's a nice mix of like slouch and structure here. I, th I think this is the right jacket to bring or I would bring maybe a blazer of some sort because I like the tension between the soft and the structure. And when you travel, especially for shorter distances, I think it's, it's kind of nice to feel a little bit dressed still. This is a good outfit. It's feeling like a little flat right now. And this is why I brought the extra wide belt because I knew I would need a belt that could like carry the weight of the volume in the pant. So see how just adding the belt makes this look way more polished, way more interesting for the bag. Would I do this with a sneaker? Oh, no, you see, no. It's almost like there's too much polish and only one little like tiny hit of sport and sneaker. I think it would have to be this. I would wear this 100% during the day, wandering around. I plan on visiting MoMA. I don't think I've ever been. Alternatively, if I wanted to bring some work and find a cafe, I would do this. And if I have to do a quick change, I can throw on 
these. Like if I was going to the theater or something, or like if I was going to a fancier dinner, I would maybe do the slingback. It feels a little fussy. To be honest, I really think it's like a little bit too polished. I really want something that feels a little bit more chill. It's just way too much polish. I'm gonna stick to the sneaker for this combo. Literally the simplest thing, but I feel really good in it. And I'm surprised that I feel really good with the flat. I think it's because the top is so casual, so chill. And I actually don't think it needs a belt. I think the belt would be too heavy for this top. There's already so much interest happening with the really great neck line I don't know maybe because there's already just so much skin showing I just think the belt will kind of throw everything off here I'm gonna show you it's just off it's like there's too many things to look at the blue shoe is really cool like it's already saying like hey look at me so is this area and this fabric is so light that now the belt just feels too heavy and yeah I really like how all of these pieces are playing together again I feel like this bag is a little too fussy I want something that feels more chill I think if I bring like some good big earrings that's all I'll need to dress this up. And then if I'm going to do this at night, I think I would do the little jacket. Okay, here's another solid one. I'm going to keep trying with this bag. This purse definitely works. I also think the puzzle works. This also works really well. I kind of like the blue and blue together. I'm definitely going to take myself to, I just, I love hotel lobby bars. I think they're so fascinating because you meet people from all over. This is okay, but the heft of the belt automatically brings this whole look into like a more casual scent. But I just think with the belt, this would be better balanced with a sneaker. Yeah, you see? Look how much better the belt looks with the weight of the sneaker. I actually love this. Look how cute with the bag. Why do I think this bag is now working? I think it's because we've got a really good balance. Like the sneaker isn't the only sporty aspect. Like I think the stripes coupled with the belt. Now there's a little bit more of a balance. There's only like a couple of polished pieces. There's like that nice balance between polished and sport. Let's do it with the puzzle. You know what? Not as cute. Not as successful. This is still good. I think I just needed to take the little strap off and I would go like this. Cute. Cute. Okay, here's this. It's okay. Like, it's totally fine. Everything is really flattering. Feels a little bit like basic, to be honest. Here's what I would do. All of these pieces are very polished and I don't want to come across as too polished. I feel a lot more comfortable in this than I did with the sneakers. I like that the blue shoe gives me a little bit of color. This is super cute with this. OMG. Let's try with the puzzle. Also cute. Like this is the kind of outfit that I love because I can wear it for day, all day. These shoes are super comfortable. And if I wanted to go like do a sanka set and if that turned into dinner, I would still feel pretty comfortable in this. Especially if I can like throw a pair of maybe like extra chunky earrings in my purse to swap out to dress this up a little. We can also try changing out the belt. Okay, here we go. What do we think? Also not horrible. Little bit Indiana Jones vibes. Who doesn't like Harrison Ford? The belt, I think, isn't so much of a focal point and isn't competing so much with the flat because it's in the same colorway as the shorts. If it was a high contrast, then I think we would have a little bit of an issue. Super cute. I feel like I should be in Europe with this purse. This one here feels a little bit more attuned to a New York vibe. This is another really good option. I would keep the little ballet flat. I think with the shorts, I'm inclined to stick with the ballet flat. I like how it has a really low vamp, so we see more of the leg, more of the shoe. It feels a little less sporty, a little less like touristy. This bag also works really well. In fact, I prefer this bag. If it's really cold, I would do this. Like we could just do this or... This is cute. I love this combo. If for whatever reason, like I don't mind the flat here, but for some reason the sweater feels really elegant with these shorts. This would probably be an instance where if I'm going out for a dinner, I would do a heel. So let me just show you. Let's imagine it's a slingback. I chose these because my slingbacks are also like a green color. And I kind of like how it's unexpected with the khaki. Like it's not just a basic black. Like it's like this beautiful olive. 
There, that's what I would do. I actually love this also. What is it about this tank top and biggish trousers? No belt because I like how light this feels. Good with the puzzle, probably better with this. Yeah. 100%. I know it's really simple. I know it's really basic, but especially for when you travel, I like to bring items that have an interesting silhouette or an interesting detail. Like these jeans aren't just regular jeans. They've got like a really interesting high waist, wide crop. So they're already visually interesting without having to do much. And same thing with this tank. Like it's not just a regular tank top. It's got a really great neckline. The straps are perfect. I know it feels really basic, but it's not, you know? I mean, at least to me, it's not. Same thing with the t-shirt. Here, I think I could do these shoes. Looks great with the puzzle. Also really cute with this bag. It's effectively the same look that we just had. I'll just show you with the sneakers. See, with the sneakers, I think it needs the belt. It's too much like a bookend, like white denim and white. I feel like it needs a little something. Yeah, look how much cuter this is with the belt. It just feels, feels more intentional, more interesting. Could work. Yeah, this is actually really cute. I like this juxtaposition between how polished the bag feels and the sneaker. This is a time where that combination is really successful. Okay, so I put this together, did it with the sneakers, and it was okay, but maybe we're on the way to eliminating these jeans. Maybe they're not 100% necessary. I'm gonna try it with the belt also. This is really good, really understated. I feel really good in this. Actually, I think I like it better with the belt. Just provides a little bit of a focal point. Feels good. Could wear it all day. That is what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know if you learned anything new. Give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and week. I will see you in the next slow fashion video. Ciao.